Now let's start with basic data types in Python. So Python contains these basic data types and I have not included some data types here uh, but later on we will explore those data type. So the first data type is the integer data type which contains the whole number or even before starting this list uh, I will explain what is mean by data type here. So whenever uh, we store any value in variable so it represents what kind of data it is storing whether it is of integer type, float type or any string or character or any list. So these are the different different types. So in Python we are not required to specify the type of data which we are assigning to the variable. So no explicit uh, assignment is required. So by in Python based on value the data type is get assigned. So the type will get assigned automatically by Python. Hence Python is a dynamically typed language. So this is the list of available data types. So might be all of you a familiar with integer, float, string, but these list, dictionaries, tuples are some interesting data types. Even the set data type. Boolean is simply a true false value and in Python complex data type is also supported. But before starting this data type, I will explain some built-in functions available in Python so that it will be easy for us to understand all these data types. So Python has even several inbuilt functions. So few of them are the type function, id function and print function. So we are going to use these three functions very frequently. Type function is responsible for to check the type of variable. id function to get the address of object and the print function simply prints the value. So let's start with all these data types and one by one with the help of these three functions. So let's start. First is the numbers. So in numbers we can consider even first integer data type. Numbers are used for different kinds of operations in programming like storing some number or representing uh, data during visualization or storing the information related to web application or even keeping the score of games. So they are used for multiple purposes. Python treats numbers in several different ways and one of them is integer. So first we will see how we can use this integer data type. We can use integer data type to represent a whole number or we can say integer value. So let's say a is equals to 10. Now a is having a integer data type and how to check that. So if you remember I told you we have a function called type. So simply say type of a it will return it belongs to a class of integer. It means that the class is integer and the data type is also integer. So we have uh, these data types check mechanism in python the type function. We can represent integer value in the following ways. So those ways are decimal form then second way is binary form then third way is octal form and the fourth way is hexadecimal form. So these are the different different forms we can represent the integer value or we can say the all these comes under the category of integer. So let's explore one by one. So this first one is the decimal form which is having a base 10 right and let's see what comes under this category. So here this value like a is equals to 10 is the allowed digits from 0 to 9 and this is decimal with base 10. Let's say the binary form. Binary form has base 2 form which contains 
only zero and one value zero and one so this is binary form in this binary form the example is let's say b is equals to so i'm taking another variable b is equals to zero b one 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 so this is my binary value but if you check the type of b you will get it is integer class but it is having a binary value after this valid declaration of binary value we can use this binary declaration even with multiple variables but let's see how i am using the wrong one which is not allowed so these are the declaration which is wrong one in the binary form so this is not a binary literal so this is the wrong value the next one which is octal so octal has base 8 the allowed digits are only from 0 to 0 to 7 so this is binary sorry octal form so this octal form example is something like this so see octal 1 variable name equals to 0 so I am using 0 here and this is O and 1 2 3 is the octal if you check the type and still that will be a integer type but it is a octal value if you see O1 you will get something different value in the form of decimal so this is even you can see the binary b1 is having actually error let's create b3 variable with one uh, valid uh, binary value so that we can check so 0 b 1 1 1 so this b3 is having 7 value binary equivalent value of decimal so this is binary and previous one is octal so 0 o is the form which we can use here then the next form is hexadecimal form so hexadecimal form might be some of you are already familiar so the allowed digits are first allowed digits are 0 to 9 and a to f or this one a to f allowed digits and the hexadecimal has the base 16 so let's see the example of this hexadecimal form so h1 is equals to 0 x and 1 2 1 a f so this is a valid if you check the type of this h1 you will get even it is also a integer class and if you try to print or you, we are using ideal shell so you can directly even type h1 so i am using function here print h1 so you can check the value right so this is hexadecimal form so being a programmer uh, we can uh, specify number of variables uh, in our program and those may be in the form of any these four form so decimal binary octal hexadecimal but at the end those belongs to the integer class so remember all these forms these are very important and uh, these hexadecimal form actually contains all this range 0 to 9 and a to f